You guys, Erin here dropping in to give you this week's astrological update. I noticed there's a lot of hype going around about Venus going retrograde, so I figured I'd put the focus there. So yes, Venus is going retrograde. This starts on July 22nd in the sign of Leo. She will remain in retrograde all the way until September 3rd, and this is all through the sign of Leo. She'll remain in the sign of Leo all the way until October 8th. So yes, Venus is sure doing her dance through this sign of of Leo. Now, to understand Venus retrograde as a good general rule of thumb, we need to start by understanding what Venus influences. So Venus influences, first of all, love, romance, beauty, art, anything aesthetically pleasing. Venus can represent any female in your life, except for mother. Mother is the moon, but whether it be your sister, and this doesn't matter if you are male or female or whatever, this could be applied to your friend who is a female or your little sister or your co-worker who's a female, your neighbor who comes over who's a female, that can represent Venus. In fact, Venus can have a huge influence on relationships, period. Okay, the balance and the harmony in relationships. Not only that, but when you're in a social setting and everybody's getting along and things are flowing, especially if the wine is flowing, that's very Venetian energy. Venus also rules things like sweets, sugar, that sort of thing. So Venus is this very soft, feminine, romantic, energy can also have a lot to do with a beautiful singing voice that's very Venetian energy. So when Venus goes retrograde, it generally means that it's time to reevaluate any of these things that I mentioned. However, it's so unique to each and every one of us, okay? And so much of this depends on your own natal chart. Now, the first thing to understand is, as I mentioned, this is in the sign of Leo. So where is the sign of Leo in your natal chart? Okay. For an example here, let's say you've got Venus or you've got Leo ruling your seventh house, which is the house of relationships. Then more than likely, this could be a time that you need to reevaluate a relationship, whether it be with your romantic partner or with any female in your life. Again, except for mother, that's more influenced by the moon. Okay. Let's say you've got Leo ruling your fourth house, your house of home. Then this might be a time to redecorate your home, whether that be on a large scale or small scale. So just make it rearranging your desk to make it look more beautiful. Okay. Or let's say you're Leo rising and this is coming through your first house. The first house is the house of self, which has so much to do with our physical appearance. This might be a time to reevaluate how you're making yourself look, your, how you're presenting yourself. Maybe it's time for a new haircut or you want to do your makeup differently, something along those lines. Or let's say it's ruling your second house. Leo was ruling your second house. Then this second house can have a lot to do with money, can also have a lot to do with consuming, whether that be buying things or consuming as in eating things, okay? So if that's the case, if you got Leo ruling your second house, then this might be a time to reevaluate what you're spending your money on, how you're saving your money, or also what you're putting in your body, what you're eating, especially if it has something to do with sweets or sugar. Okay. Another example, let's say you've got Leo ruling your 10th house, your house of status and career and recognition. Well, if this is happening, if Venus is retrograding through your 10th house, then it might be a time to reevaluate something with your career, especially if it's like you've got a female boss or something like that, or just how you are presenting yourself out in the public to in your career. Okay. So again, there's all these different areas of your life that this could be manifesting through. Now, also, do you have anything in your natal chart in the sign of Leo? Let's say your sun is in Leo or your moon is in Leo or your Jupiter or your Venus or your Mars or Saturn, something in Leo. Then what's happening is through this transit at a certain point, Venus is triggering that thing in your natal chart, if you got Mercury in Leo, then as Venus transits over and then retrogrades over your, your Mercury, it's she's triggering that Mercury. That might have a lot to do with your voice. Uh, Mercury has a lot to do with our communication skills. Okay, so again, this is so incredibly unique to each and every one of us. Another thing to mention here is if you are a Libra or a Taurus rising, that means Venus 
is the basically the captain of your ship. She's the one steering you through this life. So this might be a more prominent transit for you. Okay, so if you want to understand, you know, more in depth about how this specifically manifests for you, you can always schedule a reading with me through the East West website, which is East westbooks.org. Now, when you go to your, that website, there's a little link on top that says readers and healers. When you click there, it's very self-explanatory. You will see how to, how to schedule a reading with me. Okay, you guys, I do hope to hear from some of you. And until next time, namaste to all of you.